Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light of darkness and of our God. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and open your church. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give all thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet, and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O oh, Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O oh Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 85. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Saviour. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again? 
that your people may rejoice in you. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for you speak peace to your faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to you. Truly your salvation is very near to those who fear you, that your glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Faithfulness shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before the Lord, and shall prepare for God a pathway. God of grace, you so loved the world that you gave your only Son to be our Savior. Help us to rejoice in your redeeming grace by showing mercy and following in the way of justice and peace. For the sake of Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard of the disciples' preaching, for Jesus' name had become known. Some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. But others said it is Elijah, and others said it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, the head of John the baptizer. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown them strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thralls and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel, to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to all the forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy for the peace from above and for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For Elizabeth and Tracy, our bishops, Matthew, our dean, our churchwide synod and congregation councils, our director of evangelical mission, Maristella, our assistant to the bishop, dean, teachers, bishops, pastors, deacons, and all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy for all those who suffer from persecution because of the faith. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord.
giving thanks for all who have gone before us in our fest, rejoicing in the communion of Linda, Phyllis, George, Jim, Benedict of Nicaea, Nathan Zedeblum, Bartolome de las Casas, and all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from you come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments. And also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to us, your children, an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In our pain, our weariness, and our anxiety, surround us with your care, protect us by your loving light, and permit us once more to enjoy health and strength and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Gather into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us, our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you for joining me for Vespers this evening of the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. Our Holy Communion service was recorded, and you'll find it here on the Zoom channel. If you'd like to know more about uh, on this YouTube channel, and we were live on Zoom as we are every Sunday. If you'd like to know more about us, you can begin with the links in the description below. Till the next time, God bless.